Hey, how's it going everybody? Uh, back again, filling in for Carl. It's Wednesday, July 26th. As you can see, I uh, have a uh, new co-host today. Um, the couch. An empty couch. I figured I'd check in with you guys today. Things are kind of hectic this week. We're trying to get back on regular scheduled programming and we're going to do that for next week. But for today, you guys are stuck with me. We're still going to have our regular segments and as of course, headlines. Let's do some headlines. You ready, couch? All right. He doesn't talk much. Northern Ireland man plays drums for 150 hours straight. Jeez, even as a drummer, I'm like, that is that is impressive and why take a break now I'm pretty sure it was um, for some charity or publicity or to bring awareness to something you know but uh, 150 hours that guy's gonna be sore anyways a record-breaking Burmese Python as long as a giraffe caught in Florida. Of course, Florida. The land of bugs and weird snakes and... Florida. Alligator waits for ride at Florida bus stop. Florida again. What did I tell you? Went from snakes to alligators waiting for the bus stop. Can you guys imagine when you go to the bus stop in the morning to come to the program? You're waiting right next to an alligator? Where was the alligator going? Going to work? Do alligators have jobs? Florida, man. Florida. Anyways, those are our headlines. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Historically, since we started doing the uh, morning routine, Wednesday has always been employment day. We have, we'll have uh, Zach's employment uh, work related stuff uh, coming up in a little bit. But since it's employment day, I wanted to kind of have a little chat with you guys about uh, temporary seasonal work. Even though it's not quite the holidays yet. But remember, pretty soon it's going to be August which means summer's gonna be starting to come to an end and that means Halloween's right around the corner and that also means that a lot of retail stores like Target and Walmart are going to be hiring seasonal workers, temporary workers for holiday jobs. If you're not familiar with that concept, uh, basically, a seasonal work means you work during the holidays, and then when the holiday season is over, you stop working. Um, so it's not a permanent job, but one of the benefits of getting a seasonal job is, first of all, uh, you get extra money during the holidays. If you're new to finding work, you gain some valuable work experience that you can put on your resume and also sometimes if you do a really good job you will actually get a permanent position with that company and stay you know as long as 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 long as you want to work there basically unless you get fired hopefully you, we won't get fired but anyways so uh as always, you could talk to Zach about uh, more questions about it. Uh, if you want to start 
going online around August, which is right around the corner. This is the last week of July, right around August, September, you're gonna start seeing ads pop up for holiday seasonal hiring. Um, Amazon is another one. They hire a lot of uh, seasonal workers. Like I said, Target, Walmart, pretty much anywhere where it gets busy during the holidays. They're gonna want some extra help, but it's just seasonal work. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about that a little bit. Um, I know that some of the uh, clients that are working for the Modesto Nuts, that is also a type of seasonal work because you only work during baseball season, during the Modesto Nuts season. And then you're, you don't work the rest of the time. And then if they like you, they'll hire you back for next season. Anyways, now that we got that out of the way, let's check in with our friends. Let's see what Gabrielle has for us for a national day today. Check it out. Good morning, everybody. Here we are. I'm back. <laughs> yes. And good gravy. I'm back at the end of the month. That's crazy. It is what? Day is it out there and I don't have any help so it's all me and you out there what is it it's Wednesday it's hump day yay the last hump day of the month Wednesday July 26th and today is I think an important day today is National Disabilities Independence Day this bill was signed on the 26th of July in 1990 so 33 years ago it was signed and it's what gave us all the independence of people not treating us like we were second-class citizens kind of say you know it all started with um, accessible accessibility everywhere bathrooms uh, jobs all of those things that um, yeah, a lot of us take don't take for granted but just know as it's the right thing now because this bill was signed probably before half of you were born more than yeah I would say so so it's the bill that enables all of us to who are in a wheelchair to be accommodated to be able to go into places have ramps have accessibility for certain things so it is a kind of a big deal day. So I think um, I think it's important for us to celebrate it today. So all of those times you walk into somewhere and you don't think about the accessibility, just think before 1990, those things didn't exist. A ramp into a building, a larger bathroom stall for you to get your wheelchair into, uh, maybe perhaps a menu in Braille all of those types of things exist now. Being able to go to work and having maybe an accommodation be made for you didn't happen before then. I'm not saying it didn't happen, but people didn't have to. They could have cared less sometimes. But now it's still a little rough in some places, some things, but you know what? It's only been 33 years. It doesn't sound very long the vanity and it does but that's what today's national day is so everybody have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow all right that was great thank you Gabrielle okay uh, you guys know what time it is. It's time for work-related stuff with Zach. Work-related stuff, stuff with Zach. Zach. Hey, everybody. How are you doing out there today? We're not going to go back in the bearded past. We're going to do 
work-related stuff with Zach. And today, one of the things I'd really like to talk about, you guys, is um, soft skills. We talked a little bit about that last week, or uh, yeah, last week during the uh, the live. If you guys remember, we were kind of going through soft skills. Remember, soft skills are things like punctuality, uh, you know, being able to adapt, um, honesty, things like that. Um, and those are a lot of the skills, like I said, that we develop not only in our just we develop as we as as a person right I mean they're not always a work-related development right I mean if you're on time to program all the time or you were always on time to your classes for example right or let's say you got the perfect attendance awards I mean those are great those are soft skills there's punctuality that's time management you know if you get your tasks done in, a, in an appropriate amount of time those are forms of time management um, if you're somebody who has high integrity, you know, uh, do the right thing. That's a soft skill. Um, hard skills have a tendency to be more, you know, I am, I, I'm good with doing something on the computer, for example. And I don't know what that might be, but that would be a hard skill, like typing. That's a hard skill. Um, hard skills are more something that we're doing. Soft skills are more about what we as people bring to the table. So definitely uh, remember that. And... Uh, I expect to see a lot of people uh, visiting me um, and updating some of our skills definitely in our resumes because I think a lot of us have sold ourselves short and I think it would be uh, great to revisit that and update those skills, those soft skills um, because you know having a better understanding of what they are opens us up to knowing more about ourselves as well and what we've done and what we're good at. So remember, soft skills, guys. Things like being on time, things like, you know, like I said once again, integrity, honesty, adaptability. Um, those are all soft skills. You formed them throughout your life, throughout other relationships. And uh, you guys, we all have them in us. All right, guys, have a great day. Think of some more soft skills that you have. Come visit me. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Work-related work stuff, stuff, stuff with, with Zach. 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 All right. Thank you, Zach. Uh, as always, important stuff that's work-related. Awesome. All right, you guys. I guess those are all our segments for today. Thank you guys uh, for hanging out with me and my couch friend. And we'll see you guys Tomorrow. Oh yeah, I had to throw the card. I forgot to throw the card yesterday. All right, here we go. Sayonara.